So here's where we're at. It is a pretty beautiful day. It's a little cold outside, uh, but the sun's gonna set in like an hour and 10 minutes. And it's a little cloudy, so I think it'll be perfect. So I haven't gone for a paddle in a few, it's been a little while. So taking the SIC FX 12.6, just out on the river, the wind's down to like mm, six or seven miles per hour which is pretty good since it's been super windy this week. It's a little cold, so I'm going to try and bundle up. I don't plan on getting getting wet at all. I probably just jinx myself, but should be good. Uh, just kind of got to hurry up, get down there quick like. Booties. Jacket, leash, paddle. Okay. I just realized I packed the wrong leash, so I grabbed the right one. I grabbed a spade leash, which wouldn't have been a big deal, but it would have been annoying. So I grabbed a coiled leash. Um, it's 510. We're doing just fine. I didn't even. Hmm. I might have been in such a rush. I went too early. So I don't know if this happens to everybody or just me, but I rarely get things timed just perfectly. For instance, um, earlier, as I mentioned, I needed to hurry up because I was worried about getting there too late and getting in the water and the sun was already going down and it was going to be dark. I live like minutes away from where I launched the board at. Probably six minutes from where I go. I'm going to Lawson's Creek. It's right under the bridge. The sunset's right behind you. So you can paddle out and then on your way back in, you could watch the sunset. So it's perfect, but for some reason, I don't know if I think it takes me 35 minutes to pack my car. I've done it a thousand times. I don't know why I think it would take me 35 minutes, but apparently I do. And so long story longer, it's 514. Sunset's at like 607. Bad timing. All the hits, Bob 93.3, hey, it's Gina. And Catherine, are you like- I was blocking the exhaust. events here ironically complaining about being too early um, if you may notice back in the car I would then say you're pretty observant John I forgot uh, the extra battery in my rush to get here on time which was actually too early it then turned around that it was perfect because I now may be late Tell me that's not perfect. <laughs> Tell me you don't want that on your day off. I don't 
don't know how well you can see it on the GoPro, but got some real cool purple. You probably see it right there. Beautiful blue and a nice orange. Probably be trippy. GoPro recording, GoPro recording, GoPro. Uh huh, some inception stuff. Pretty cool. Worth it. Peaceful out here. Really peaceful. I think it worked. Better get back. Getting a little cold. It's getting dark. I think we're perfectly timed. See, it all works out in the end. It wasn't the most beautiful sunset I'd ever seen, but it was a good one. The water really calmed down there at the end. Because of course the wind was dying down, but these booties never get easier to get off. We're on. Oh, hey there. Um, I'm back at the house. I think that's it for today. Uh, like it if you liked it. Comment if you have something to say. Subscribe. And I'll see you Friday. I don't really know how to end it, so I'm just going to go like this. Bye.